All right, Pipers. We need to talk. First of all, again, thank you, Uncle Willie, for the 1792. Now, let's get into the 1792, shall we? I don't do a lot of videos that are review-esque, if that's even a word. However, I told you it was two for Tuesday, and guess what? Well, it's... Ah! It's two for Tuesday, bring it on! Oh yeah, it's been one of them days, huh? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me pull over into the slow lane and bring it down a notch for you. So, we'll start on light up. first lit this up the craziest thing happened I swear I could taste fish like fish fish not just like when you're eating fish like you're eating sard canned sardine fish that first puff that came through I got the fishy taste I'm sure it was something in my pipe but I had you know I'd ran a a swab in my pipe or a pipe cleaner and the last thing I smoked in it was uh, brown bogey. But along with the fishiness, uh, with the trout tobacco, just kidding, that was something in the very light up, could have been something to do with my fluid, could have been a little resin in the pipe of some kind or something, whatever. Let's get into the real deal. Right off the bat, I got something familiar. And that familiar taste that I got, or note, whatever you want to call it, uh, I'm actually going to compare it to a cigar. Oh, this stupid driver. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, stick yourself out in the middle of oncoming traffic, you tool. All right. Back to your afternoon commute with old Sasquatch Piper. So, I'm sorry. What we got, we got a very similar note of like a, a spicy pepperiness, similar to the pepperiness of a cigar. that you might find in a cigar, to me. And it's, that, it, don't get me wrong, it's still there. But I caught it with the fish taste right away. And, well, if you know anything about my cigar taste, I, I used to smoke a lot of diesels and they have pepper in this to them. Now, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. This is good. This is a good pepper in this. But, we got a lot going on in here. To be totally honest with you, not a lot of tobaccos do that for me, to where I get a lot of different notes. But this one, I'm actually getting chocolatey, the cocoa-y note that I get from a, a lot of Gowith and Hogarths. Now, I don't know if I said it, but this is a 1792 flake. But it's a sweeter chocolatey taste because I also am getting a tanginess. But it, it, it reminds me of a tanginess I normally don't like, which is a very citrusy, bittery, but it's smooth, that, that tanginess is smooth, that fruity note is smooth to me. 
so it, it doesn't get that bitter taste like other manufacturer in their blends I, I get a lot I haven't analyzed anything about this I don't know what the blend is or what's in it I'm just telling you off the top of my head what I'm getting so a sweet chocolatey fruity miss what I think super cool in tobaccos you can't really see it because the glare sorry but it gets that round cap on it when you're smoking it and a really nice ash I mean that's probably why you're getting the glare but a nice white super light gray whitish ash which to me is a good sign not a lot of tobaccos round up like that and I don't remember there's certain ones that do that and I just don't happen to remember what they are Well, we're smoking it out of one of my pipes that I smoke a lot of my favorites out of, which is, I smoke a handful of tobaccos now on a handful of pipes. It's weird, like some of your stronger tobaccos I've noticed, you know, not tongue bite, but it, you can feel it on your tongue, the heavy smokiness, which I like. I get that out of this, but it's a light feeling on, on my tongue and palate. It's not that heavy. So it's still really good. Yeah, I kind of let it go there, guys. Let me get back into this. This is turning out to be very interesting for me. Yeah, it, it does. It's, what's really interesting is there's no... The smokiness isn't the same as most tobaccos to me. Retrohale, fruitiness. Yeah, that tanginess is good in it. It, it gives me that tangy, with, I know it sounds crazy, but without the bitterness that that tang usually is accompanied by for me. It almost reminds me of a cross, ah, no. But it almost reminds me a little bit of a, a vapor, almost a little bit, but totally different at the same time. <laughs> You know what? It's almost like there's a topping on it. Uh, or, you know, like, and I can't place what that is. But it, I, I'm as far as I know, it's it's not an aromatic at all. Now, remember, I I, I know nothing about this tobacco. I I only know. Uh, a couple people that I've seen talk about it, Uncle Willie being one of them. I, I'll, I'll say this. If you like the same tobaccos I like, I don't know that you'll like this. I love it. But it's not like my other tobaccos. It doesn't have the same richness. And that, that's not making it bad, but... I even got a little nuttiness in there. But on the retro hail, it's... I almost had it. It was right there in my head. just can't 
replace that retro hail. I not perfumey. Almost like a licorice. But there to for me there is a lot going on in this tobacco and for me I will be in search of it because it's a tobacco I really like but different than my usual at the same time which for me is hard to find usually I, I'm straight across the board and a lot of the stuff I like even when I used to chew I chewed one tobacco period there was only one other one that was remotely would get chewed cigarettes when I smoked years ago same thing mm. I don't know it's almost like a chocolatey licorice retro hail for me let me know what you guys think and what you get out of it I'd, I'd be really interested to hear when I get home I will be posting the video. I won't post it until I get home, but I'm going to look up maybe other people's thoughts, but I'd rather hear your thoughts first, but I'm going to look at what's exactly in it and see if I can place some of that for myself, you know, because I'm not, I don't nitpick tobaccos apart. I even get... I know it's crazy, but the, the car note, I even get that, the same s smell, but lighter that I get on that retro hail, which would make sense because it's going through your nose. Sorry, I'm dragging on about this. I'm trying to tell you how I feel about it and what I think about it. Very tasty. It's so much different than my usual, but I like the taste at the same time. There's there's a taste in there I'm just not placing. And I'll think of it one of these days, and I will let you know. But let me know what you think, guys. I, uh, I'm really interested to hear it. I hope everybody had a great Tuesday. And get ready for, well, I mean, you know what day. We'll see you in the morning with that one. Sasquatch Piper out.